Welcome back. This is Gene. We're going to talk about trap shooting lessons learned. A beginner's point of view. This is session 13. The title of the session is add on ribs, lower rib or raised barrel. So this means we're talking about add on ribs that are adjustable. And there's two ways of looking at how to make that adjustment. One is to lower the front of the rib or raise the barrel. That's what we're going to talk about. And we're going to talk about uh, different sight configurations on shotguns. Um, in particular, I've got two Remington 870 uh, pump shotguns configured in different ways. So we can show you what can be done and what the benefits are and so on and so forth. This happens to be a shotgun that has an extended tube for uh, I think we put nine shells in there. Um, the stock is extendable so the length of pull which is the distance from the trigger to the end of the, the stock is adjustable. I'll put that back and then uh, I'll show you a few more things. If you need to, you can put, and they have them clip on. This is just an example. This would be what's called comb, and the comb would uh, clip in different positions here so that when you're shooting it's up against your chin which is a important item when it comes to uh, sighting in your gun. This is an add-on rib and it literally is glued to the rib of the existing gun. So the add-on rib, if it's put on like it is right now, the height here is the same as the height here, so all that does is raise the, um, the rib height. And then you probably have to raise the comb up to match that, so when you're looking down the sights, um, everything is lined up. So the other thing that this rib, add-on rib has is a, a fiber optic sight. The first portion of the sight is the fiber optic and then there's a tube that allows the light to come only through that tube so that that means that if you're left eye dominant, you're shooting right handed, that you're, only your right eye can see the light coming through that fiber optic, uh, which is a good feature, especially if you're uh, uh, left eye do dominant. But if you, you want to shoot with both eyes open, which you do, then you never have to worry about one eye seeing uh, fiber optic sight and the other eye, the wrong eye seeing, uh, the wrong eye seeing it and the right correct eye not seeing it. So this is, uh, I've used this quite a bit, uh, it's very handy. This is another Remington 870 and configured differently as you can see and if I want to I can put this add-on rib onto the on the rib that's on the gun and I've got myself an adjustable um, uh, ventilated rib and that has a fiber optic sight with the extension tube this is the permanent one that's already mounted on here, so if I put this on to 
this gun, I would remove this and move the whole thing forward. If there's enough, enough adjustments on this top portion up and down to change the point of impact uh, significantly. Um, so this is very handy. It, it does not require an, an entire length. So this, this would be basically a half length uh, add-on rib. And so it does the same thing as a full length rib, which I'll show you in a minute. But it also uh, takes about half the weight off of that. It has an adjustable comb. And that literally is adjustable by pushing on this uh, lever here and it'll go up or down however you want it to adjust your needs. And then the last, the last thing I added to this is a recoil pad that's adjustable as you can see. The angle, um, that particular angle is is just right for me because uh, it puts the pressure not on my shoulder but right in here and reduces all of the black and blue that you get from shooting shotgun uh, a lot. The other thing that this stock has is Another adjustment, if I can push this in. Go over here, do it from this side. Push that in, and this is fully adjustable for someone that has a longer length of pull. So when you're patterning your gun, you want to get all these things adjusted to you so that this gun that you're going to use fits you. And that's the word that's used quite a bit, um, is to get a gun that when you shoot out a pattern board, all these adjustments are made so that that gun fits you. that back. Now if I take this gun that fits, you can see it fits straight up and down this way, but uh, the butt is at an angle which fits right in here, not on the round side of my shoulders. So when I bring this up, I've got my comb right where I need it and to shoot 50-50 target, 50% pellets above and 50% of the pellets below the center line, this comb is right tight against my cheek and that's where this belongs. So. If I want to shoot a little bit high, I just relax that and I'll shoot just, I know that if I relax this about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, I'm going to shoot between five and ten inches high um, simply by adjusting the tension on my cheek, um, which makes uh, this whole process much, much easier to have the gun adjusted to a pattern board. In order for me to get everything lined up, I know that for me, with this shotgun, 30 inch barrel, that I've got to be, I got to be 10 inches from the end of this barrel inches from the end of the muzzle of the barrel. 
that's where my eye has to be. Okay, so I've already uh, patterned with this bo uh, gun, with this um, add-on rib, and I know that if I bring this over, straight edge over, and this is 10 inches here, another 30 inches for the, the that I have to have my eye right there. So that becomes the rear sight of my shotgun, is where that is. Now at the bottom of this is where the comb has to be, and you can tell that I have to have an extended comb something like this put this at 10 inches there that extended comb would be about right here for height on my cheek and that's where my eye has to be. So I know exactly where the rear sight of this shotgun is. 10 inches back, it's where my eyeball fits. And I have to have a cheek rest so that when I rest the cheek onto the comb, it's got a tight fit right on my cheek. This particular add-on rib is permanently installed. It actually has a channel that goes down down here. And if you look close enough, you can see that it actually raises. Uh, instead of being straight like this, it goes down like that and just that little bit would create about an eighth of an inch height difference here and that'll change your point of impact into the five to ten inch range so you shoot five to ten inches higher um, by um, actually putting this into this this channel and what that does is it actually raises the barrel an eighth of an inch compared to where your eye is. So that's how that one works. And then the fiber optics is hidden inside this channel so that gives you the... We're going to see what the difference is now. Same, same gun, different barrel um, I'm, I don't have the add-on rib. I do have the fiber optic with the extension tube. I do have a comb. I have an adjustable stock and a add-on recoil stock that gives me that angle that I need to fit this gun to my needs when I pattern the gun. So I'm going to put this right at 10 inches right here and I'll put my eyeball, this is where my eyeball is going to be when that thing is patterned in straight on. And then if I'm going to go to uh, 80, 20, 70, 30 pattern. I simply um, I raise this up, which 
in fact actually raises the front of the barrel up by an eighth of an inch or so to give me that five to ten inch um, increase. Now this bottom here of this bolt that holds this eyeball is in line with my cheekbone. So having this this distance, this height, obviously this direction, and whatever height you want, just being adjusted by an eighth of an inch, you don't need anything else out here. You don't need add-on ribs, you don't need any of this for my for myself, because I I'm not that tall, I don't have to have all this raised up. And the whole idea of having things raised up is if you have a long neck and so on that you, you're, you're looking more, with both eyes open, you're looking more uh, level compared to being over looking this way. So it just depends on how, how you feel comfortable and how often you're going to be shooting. Um, but you can see right here, there, I, I extended this out. You can see that eyeball is, is right at the right spot for my needs. This is a, a cleaner view of that one and a half inch add-on rib that we talked about in the previous uh, section of our video. Um, the upper section of this particular picture um, is meant to emphasize that this is not just a um, one and a half inch, looking down here, one and a half inch straight on add on rib. Um, it's a lot more special than that. The rib is one and a half inches on the top edges all the way across to the front with a fiber optic, small fiber optic bead, I guess you could call it, uh, embedded in this groove. That's where it is clear up here and that's where it is down here. So this particular add-on rib serves two functions. One is you can use it as a straight-on uh, adjustment or you can actually look down through this groove and get a an equivalent of a lowered rib or raised barrel. This is a view of an add-on rib that we've talked about and in particular I want to show this fiber optic sight. Uh, it's at the view, pretty close to the view that you would be looking at from your left eye if you're shooting right-handed and you'll see that the fiber optic is not visible coming out of this hollow section. And that makes this a very, very um, cost-effective way of knowing if you're uh, sighting your barrel in line or not. Here's another view. Um, the fiber optic is better seen here, and this is just a hollow tube. And you won't see that fiber optic at all unless you're looking right straight down the hollow tube. So that's just what that looks like in the field. This particular tube, um, fiber optic is a, a one step up from a regular one because it has a red center and a green outer circle inside that hollow tube. So that's the one I prefer because it's actually 
mostly because it's bigger. I'm red, green, colorblind, so I can't tell the difference. Um, actually, when I'm using this, but the camera shows it up here. Okay, so you're probably asking yourself, why am I looking at levels in a session where we're talking about guns and fiber optics and add-on ribs and so on and so forth. Well, there's a very big reason for that, and that is the normal discussion that I've heard on YouTube has been um, to, if you want to shoot higher, you lower the rib. And to me, it took a long time to visualize why would you lower the rib and, and then shoot higher. So this is an example of two things. One, uh, obviously at the top, um, the rib, add-on rib, is level. So the point of aim is straight on level. And because this is the same height as this, the rib has not been adjusted. So the barrel point of impact is going to be the same as the point of aim. So that's how it would look if you don't adjust that rib. So let's come down here. Here I've lined up the rib so that it's the same as that rib up above. The point of aim is level and that has not changed. But the distance between the barrel and the rib in this case has gone to the maximum you can go and that is they've actually touched each other. So what in this example what happened? Did I lower the rib or did I raise the barrel? Well, it should be pretty obvious if you look at the, the dotted lines here and this black, actually it's a black board uh, that simulates a barrel. I actually raised the barrel. Now, to me, that makes sense. If you want to shoot high, you raise the barrel. And I was, here's an example of how that was done. I just simply found a, an object I could uh, pry in between the lower level and the upper level, which is taken off of this picture here, um, to show you that that barrel has actually moved up. So lowering the rib and raising the barrel are the same thing. Both are correct. To me, this makes more sense. So when you buy a gun that has an adjustable rib, uh, the higher end guns have a, a hand adjustable rib uh, instead of a, a bolt adjustable rib like this one. Um, makes it much more convenient to adjust your point of impact um, in the field very easily. But you're talking about a three to four, five thousand uh, dollar shotgun that has a permanent uh, adjustable rib. It's not really an add-on rib. It's part of the design of the shotgun. So um, add-on ribs do the same thing. Um, they're very, very much less expensive and you can get by with a half, what this is called as a half length. This is 15 inches in length. Um, a half length add-on rib does the same thing as a full length add-on rib. So I just wanted to let you know that uh, lowering the front rib, add-on rib, the same thing as raising 
the barrel. Here's a closer view. The spacer, the simulated barrel, and then the add-on rib with the fiber optics on top of it. So, um, several of our videos talk about um, lowering the rib, adding, um, raising the barrel, and so on and so forth. Uh, these four examples, uh, this particular one shows that uh, this is 50-50. Uh, that would be the top one uh, example in the previous uh, slide where there is no raising or lowering of either the bar barrel or the rib and you're shooting straight on. Um, that is okay except uh, if you look at this the clay pigeon is hidden so if you go at least a 60-40, you can start to see the clay pigeon. I raise the barrel. That's the terminology I like to use to make this happen. The one I prefer is um, raising the barrel about an eighth to a quarter of an inch um, by uh, increasing the height of the comb. So you raise the barrel by raising the comb uh, and you end up with a sight picture that looks like this where you can see some of the, the uh, rib showing. You go even further where you have a lot more rib showing um, and this is where you're um, raising the barrel maybe three uh, uh, almost a half an inch. Uh, it puts pretty good separation between the clay pigeon and, and your gun and it's a little bit too much for me. I prefer this this particular one. So you're shooting at the, the bird and it's out of the way from your bead. This is an example of the same sort of thing. Um, you're, you're shooting it straight on. It's just a drawing. Um, here's your half length add-on rib. Not adjusted at all. It's both top and top here. And it's top and top here um, as far as height. And in both cases, the barrel is shooting in the same direction as the rib. This is a more extreme example, but it shows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, did you lower the rib uh, or not? Well, this is confusing to me because if you lower the rib, where did the barrel go? Did the barrel go up? Did buy so you, you really don't know. In my mind, I, I couldn't figure that out, okay? So, but if you look at it this way, where you're shooting straight on and you raised the barrel and making these adjustments here, that makes more sense to me. So in any way you want to look at it, you bring the, the rib and the barrel together in the front, you cause the barrel to shoot higher than your line of sight. Now here's um, an even more uh, detailed drawing of uh, the add-on rib. This is a half-length add-on rib. Um, if this is on, um, you have to raise the comb by the height of the add-on rib in order to get all of this to work. And obviously, if you um, raise the barrel or, quote, lower the rib in the front, that actually causes the separation to be higher. So what used to be the comb height without an add-on rib, you see a new add-on rib. And if you make that adjustment, 
that we just talked about, the distance would be even more for this add-on rib because the for the the distance would even be more for this comb to go up so that you have a nice tight comb against your cheek when you're shooting. Um, that way you have a consistent point of aim and actual point of impact.